<laughs> wow, wow. We gotta talk. Yes, the Canadians lost their game last night. Yes, they blew a two-goal lead. Twice. But I don't want to talk about any of that stuff. I want to talk about the positives. Positive number one, Arbor Jack I humiliated Ryan Reeves last night. He humiliated him. And Leafs fans have been trying to find different ways to cope all day long. Arbor didn't win. Arbor went for the takedown because he was scared. <sighs> yes, of course. Right. The instigator was scared. Guys, look. That was Ryan Reeves' very first regular season game in a Toronto Maple Leaf jersey. He skated out onto the ice, flexing his muscles, guys. Did you see that? He tried to show how effective he could be, then he got tossed around by a 22-year-old ex-Costco employee. End of story. Ryan Reeves is 36 years old, guys. He's a goo. And he got absolutely showed up during game number one. I know, I know. It, it sucks if you're a Leafs fan. It's, it's a tough one to swallow, but it's just how it is. I'm not saying Ryan Reeves is not tough, because, guys, Ryan Reeves is a beast, okay? He is. I got a lot of respect for him. And if these two guys do square off at center ice, man, Ryan Reeves is going to be a handful to deal with. But last night, Ryan Reeves got humiliated in his own barn. He got about four bars of Wi-Fi, and I'm willing to bet that it didn't go down the way that he wanted it to. And now while we're all focused on Jack Eye being a beast, he also picked up an assist during the game too last night, okay, along with his 17 penalty minutes. So what more can you ask out of this guy during game number one? You can't take him out of the lineup. You can't. And again. If you're a big fan of Arbor Jack Eye and you want to support this channel, go get yourself a Black Eye from Jack Eye t-shirt right meow. Because I personally don't even go out of my house without rocking one of these bad boys, I'll tell you that. Okay, moving on. Positive number two. Guys, Yuri Slavkovsky played the best game of his young NHL career last night. He played over 15 minutes, he picked up an apple, apparently he had 6 shot attempts, 3 hits, and he was also winning board battles like a madman. I am absolutely in love with line number 2 of the Montreal Canadiens right now. Doc, Slavkovsky, new hook. Holy smokes, guys. I think we got something here. And listen, what did I tell you guys about Newfies and the Habs? They go together like cookies and milk, okay? Alex Newhook scored a pair of goals last night. What a beauty. And Kirby Doc had a pair of assists. Now, positive number three is Cole Caulfield, our little bundle of joy. He scored twice last night, but unfortunately, one goal was taken away by Sheldon Queef. Overall, I mean, I was really happy with his performance. Shout out to Jesse Alonen as well, who scored a beauty on line number four, playing alongside Jake Evans, who actually opened the scoring. I thought for the most part, the lines were rolling pretty well, but as for the wine and lobster line guys of Sean Monaghan, Brendan Gallagher, and Tanner Pearson, yeah, not a fan. Not a fan, not gonna lie. So let me know down in the comment section how you felt about game number one against the Toronto Maple Leafs. What about Arbor Jackoy and Yuri Slavkovsky? Jeez, round of applause for the boys. Don't forget to break a stick over the like button's back before you leave here. And hey, well, see you next time.